everybody, here it is. NECA's Burning Godzilla figure. Burning Godzilla from Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. And on the base level of looking at this wondrous, wondrous figure, my god, it is just a sight. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sight. Translucent red plastic, a whole bunch of crazy colors that are not screen accurate, but still <laughs> Amazing. I don't care about the screen accuracy. I just love that this is such a wicked design. But, yeah, there's a but. My figure has a, a bit of a defect on it. Can you can you spot what it is here? Here, I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> you see that? No? You see that? No? Do you see all this? Yeah, I've got flaky paint all over my dorsal fins. Ouch. This was going to be my favorite variant of NECA's 2019 Godzilla figures. And to see that it has all of this chipping and flaky paint on its dorsal plates is just a big, big upset to me. I mean, you know, I can go out and get another one, which is what I do plan on doing after I move. It's just, this shouldn't be a problem. Why is there always a downside with NECA's KOTM line? The Atomic Blast version Godzilla was great, his feet just keep coming off. The original is great, he just has goopy eyes, and this version is fantastic, he just has flaky paint on his dorsal plates. Why is there always a butt? Why? Why? It's like, I, I love how this looks. I really do. Yeah, there's a little bit of goop over here and everything that prevented the tail from moving at all. But I just, I love how this looks. It's just, why are these dorsal plates feeling like a sunburnt victim. Everything about this shot right here, I love. It's just, why, why this? Why that? Why, 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 why? And it's not just the fact that the paint peels. It's that it peels so easily. Oh God, this has never been a problem with me and NECA figures before. Of course, I'm the one figure that I've been the most excited for. I have a problem with it. But anyway, I guess I'll knock out articulation real quick since we've seen this now three times before. Jaw, open and close. Head can go all the way around. Can go all the way around at the neck, but I refuse to do that anymore after this. As you can see, more chip paint. Arms can move in and out at the shoulders. As per usual, they can both go all the way around. You're going to get a swivel at the elbow. You're going to get a bend in and out at the elbow. You're going to get a swivel at the wrist, and you're going to get a bend at the wrist both in and out like so on both sides you're gonna be able to go all the way around with this figure at the torso very minimal hunch forward and back on this figure the legs are going to be able to go out very very minimally and in very very minimally but you will be able to spin them all the way around as per the huge you will also get a bend at the knee in and out and you're going to get a swivel at the knee as well Ugh. when it comes to the feet mine are kind of solid uh, it took a while for me to be even be able to you know twist them all the way around like so you are going to get a pivot with these Ugh. you're going to have to push them a little bit but you are going to get a pivot with this, absolutely. Again, the uh, ankles and the feet might be a little bit tight out of the box, while the entire figure is kind of tight out of the box, at least mine was. But yes, there is an ankle pivot with this figure, like the other two versions. And of course, you can... Wow. Okay, that's different. Um, Godzilla's tail just fell out of his ass for whatever reason. Um, okay, well, you saw there's a ball joint at the tail. There's a ball joint at the tail. It can go all the way around like so, and you're going to have the multi-segmentation at the tail as well, like all the newer NECA Godzilla figures. And thankfully, this tail... Never mind, it doesn't hold its it, its pose up, but it does hold its pose at a nice curve, like so. You can pose it with a curve. Can't really pose it up too much. That is the first time this dude's tail has fallen out of his ass. What the heck? Huh. Well, this is made out of a softer plastic since it is translucent, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that now. So one of the many features that this figure has is that he is translucent. This isn't something that we are really expecting with the release of this figure. It's something that kind of just, you know, happened. And it's easily one of my favorite features of the figure. If you can even really call it a feature. Yeah, you can call it a feature bucket. I will demonstrate this now. Look at that. Translucent. Look at that. 
That is just, oh my god. I love the way the light radiates through the dorsal fins and the head and the arms most of all. I think that looks so, so, so very cool. This was a very, very cool inclusion, NECA. It was such a cool little feature and I love it so much that NECA, by all means, go ahead, re-release Godzilla 2019 V2 and make him translucent blue plastic. I'm, I'm about it and I know people would buy it. Actually, before I take a look at paint, one of my subscribers actually told me that the breath effect piece from v2 actually fits into this guy's mouth a lot better than he does that figure and um he was right it does fit a lot better i don't know why but it takes a lot for it to fall out so yeah there's a little known fact for you anyway now the paint was always going to be the main focus of this video no matter when it came out and the paint is really really fantastic the red translucent plastic really is a beautiful base for this figure it really sets out the message hey this is burning godzilla now the paint that was used on the dorsal spikes on the back of this figure it's nice i like that it has that very matte chalky look to it i just hate how it's chipping. I hate how it's cracking on certain spikes. Like, I don't really know what's going on with that black smudge right there. This looks cool, but you can tell most of the paint chipped away. I love this messy cornucopia of oranges and yellows and blacks and everything to really show that Godzilla is burning up on the inside. But, like, why? Why is this so chippy looking? Like, it looks like Doritos dust. Like, I, I don't think that was really planned for the figure and whatever paint was used, while it does look nice where it's not chipping, where it's chipping, it doesn't look that nice. Like, even over here, the darker shade of the orange that was used clearly chipped away off of this dorsal fin. You know, it would have been one thing if it was just on the tail, but it's up here too. Like, that's, that's, that's egregious looking, isn't it? But it's on the tail where I feel this paint chipping is at its worst. Like, it's... Ugh, it definitely needed another coat of paint. It definitely needed something. Because it's... It's a nightmare on this tail. It really, really is. You know me. I love NECA. I love NECA to no freaking end. But this is just kind of... It's kind of inexcusable, if you ask me. Now, I've seen most of the reviews on this figure already. And I haven't seen anybody talking about flaking paint on their figures, so I guess I just got unlucky with the one figure that had the problem. And yeah, this tail was an absolute stiffened nightmare when I first got it out of the box. Like, this piece of the tail was the worst because this was just holding, like, this segmentation and this segmentation together, like, so bad. Like, you see how it is right here? How you can't see it? Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. But I really do love the paint on this thing. I will say that. I love that all the little grooves and crevices on Godzilla's tail, hell on his body, is just being outlined by this bright, bright red. He literally looks like a living, breathing nuclear volcano, and that's awesome. And I love that there's little bits of black and mixtures of yellows and oranges in certain places, because again, he looks like a gigantic living, breathing lava pit. That's freaking awesome. And much like Atomic Blast V2 boy, he's got those veins painted on on him. I think that's a nice little stylistic touch to this figure. It just looks fantastic. No matter what fucking angle you look at this thing, he looks cool, except for the paint chipping on the dorsal fin. But even on his feet, even on his feet over here, you get some really, really, really nice painting in between the scales, the armor plating of Godzilla. If you can call that painting, yeah, that's painting, fuck it. But yeah, you get that on like the back of Godzilla's leg in some areas, some messily applied. You got more of those painted fire veins on his legs looking very, very, very nice. I just, I, I love when NECA go above and beyond on their paint job. I just hate that this paint job came with chipping. Flaking, I guess that's the proper word. But I love this paint job. I really, really do. I love the attention to detail that they put into this thing. I really don't care that it's not screen accurate. I really don't. I love stylistic paint jobs and NECA's just been absolutely providing that with their last couple figures. I especially I actually love what NECA did with the top of Godzilla's head for this figure. I like that it's like really blackened on top and on the sides you can see like little parts of like the raised scaling. They're still black but it's mostly like red in a lot of areas. I really really like that. That's a cool little attention to detail. Like, look at that. That's so freaking cool. And the teeth. The teeth are decently painted. It looks like they filed down his teeth on the bottom row. Is that like that on the other ones? Come here. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Okay. I just, I haven't looked at the teeth for the other figure in a while, but yeah, teeth, 
are nicely painted, mostly on this side and the other side. The inside of Burning Godzilla's mouth is uh, mostly bright orange, as you can see, and uh, the area around it is, uh, you know, the same color and the same make of the essential figure. Looks very, very nice. They did what they did with the V2 figure. They gave him the smaller eyes. They didn't even try and recreate the other eyes that they did with the uh, with the base figure. And again, I just, I love the paint on the dorsal fins. I really, really do. I just hate so much that it's flaking off. It looks like I'm looking at like a fire level from a Mario game over here. It's great. I can't not sing my praises for what was accomplished on these dorsal fins, but I also also can't ignore the fact that the paint is chipping off of the figure. Not at all. Like, ugh. But you know what? I only paid $25 for this. It beats paying 80 to 90 to 100. <laughs> Man, even from the front view, this figure looks intimidating. I'm gonna do some quick size comparisons of this figure and then we're gonna wrap this video up. So here is NECA Burning G with movie theater exclusive Bandai Movie Monster Series Shin Godzilla, Heisei Burning Godzilla, Trend Masters Repaint Burning Godzilla, and the Fingurine Burning Godzilla. And here is 2019 Burning G with 2019 Base Godzilla and 2019 Atomic Blast Godzilla. Good stuff. See now, I was wondering if the paint was chipping off the dorsal fins on the Atomic Blast figure, and it isn't. I feel like my burning Godzilla didn't get like that second or third or fourth coat of paint. I really, really do. Because nowhere on this figure is the paint chipping off. Oh, there's his foot. Damn it. And I feel like that's because they added the turquoise and then they added the metallic. With this one, I feel like they I feel like the dorsal fins were painted one singular color at a time, you know what I mean? Okay, maybe not one singular color at a time, but again, I feel like my dorsal fins are missing a coat of paint of something. Or maybe this paint was just too thin. I don't know. So NECA's Burning Godzilla 2019 figure is fantastic. I love that he is casted in a red translucent plastic. That's one of my favorite parts about this figure. And it's pretty ironic that he's translucent red and he's a Target exclusive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's not a foresight of my own. That's Space Tree Studios. I am not that clever whatsoever to notice something like that. I am stupid. Honestly, the only letdown for this figure comes at the flaky and chippy dorsal fin paint. I like the paint. I just hate that it chips. I hate that it's all over my hands. And one little observation I made whilst looking at the box for this figure, you can see it already, can't you? Look at all the chips on the inside of the box. This wasn't just my doing. I didn't fuck anything up. I noticed this problem right out of the box. Oh yeah, I really didn't show off the box. All right, might as well end off the video like this. The chipping was a problem that I found while the figure was still inside the box. I thought maybe I was going a little senile there and that's the only problem I have. I love this figure. I think it looks awesome. I'm going to keep this guy in the box though because I'm afraid of more of this paint chipping off and I think he's going to remain in the box until I get a replacement. Aside from that one problem, I like this figure. I like it a lot. I like it so much, I'm gonna buy it again just so I can get, you know, a not chippy dorsal fin figure. And NECA, I am dead, dead serious. Please re-release Atomic Blast Boy in translucent blue plastic, that'd be awesome. But anyway, I have been Shin Rob Jira. I do hope you enjoyed this video. You can check out more of my videos in the playlists and videos linked in the description below and at the end of the video. And I have just one more video coming out this week before I have to make the jump to yet another new location. So I will see you all Friday night. Same time that this premiered, that video will premiere. The 100th episode of Rob's Godzilla Room Reviews. And, you know, maybe I'll do a stream sometime in the middle of the week this week. But, yeah, I gotta get back to packing. Hope you enjoyed this short little video, and I will see you all on Friday. Or Wednesday night. Which is when I was planning on streaming. Yeah, bye everybody. <laughs>